live. We're there. Right now. I hope you missed us. We're back. Good morning. No olives light dressing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. My mouth is watering. My man, thank you. Would you like a new black on the side? Yes, please. Keep it going. That's good. Perfect. Thank you. Black on the side? Absolutely. Thank you. No problem. Got to enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. What's happening, man? I know you're excited for this one. It's loud in here, um, but we're going to make it work. Great, it looks great, thank, thank you. you. Looks perfect. Okay, so we're here at the Columbia, Ybor City. The gem of Spanish restaurants. I've heard this is the largest Spanish restaurant in the world. Who told you that? You told me that. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> kind of a history. Question. The largest Spanish restaurant in the world. It is. There's a lot, there, we have a lot to talk about, about the Columbia. I, do, I have learned so much about the Columbia just in the last 10 minutes. You're welcome. Richard always does his homework. Who doesn't do his homework? Who always does his homework? Yeah, but you bring all the camera equipment and the, the boom and the tripod and all that stuff. You do your part. I do my part. You do your part. I do my part. Good I don't morning. do my, I don't do, good morning. Good morning. How are it's you? good to be here. So we're at the Columbia. Yes. We, their, their signature meal is the 1905 salad. So we're having the 1905 salad. And yours is? Mine's the traditional. It's exactly the way it comes with ham. And olives. And olives. Green olives. Because they phased out the black olives, but we'll get to that. And it is also available in turkey only with no olives. And that's the one I like because I don't like olives. Olives are like pickles. And you went with the light dressing. Yeah, yeah, light dressing. Yeah, yours is swamp. Super moist. <laughs> super <laughs> moist. moist. Dry. Here we are with moist again. It, is what it, it seems is. to be a theme. Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna dig in. I'm, I'm absolutely starving. I'm gonna try this thing right off the bat. No sense in talking too much. We have plenty to talk about though. You wanna chew and I'll talk? Okay, you enjoy that for a minute. Just, I got this, I got this. This is delicious. Uh, so the salad is called the 1905 salad, but it wasn't invented in 1905. The Columbia was opened in 1905 by uh, Casimiro Hernandez and it has been in the same family ever since. Although, you know, through marriage and name changes, it's the Gonsmarts now. Um, but it was, um, it's Florida's oldest restaurant and it is the biggest restaurant in the world. The largest restaurant in the world. The Spanish restaurant in the world. Largest um, Spanish restaurant in the whole world. So this room that we're in, where the little bar is, was the original section. And then, during the Prohibition era, what had happened was, um, it wasn't doing that well, and they joined forces with La Fonda, which was next door, but they kept the name, and overnight it became twice as big. Um, and then much later on, during the uh, recession, there was um, all the cigar workers that were around here, um, all the houses they were in, they kind of became really slummy and ghetto, so um, one of the people that was here, uh, thought they would bring a lot of uh, world-class entertainment here, and so they built the Saboni Room, which was in 1956. And then a lot of world-class Spanish uh, dancers and uh, act actors and singers and entertainment was here, and it kind of revived it, and it kind of boomed again, and they made it through. Um, fun fact, my mom used to work here. She was a flamenco dancer, so she would work down the street at Las Novidades, which later became El Goya, or Trax, it's a gay bar. Might have been there once, maybe, maybe. allegedly. And then she would run down here and then do the nine o'clock show here. So, another fun fact is I used to date a pharmacist. Uh, Get out of here. Not a street pharmacist, an actual legit pharmacist. He worked right across, I think it was called Florida Pharmacy. And next door was a tile shop. And the tiles that are here are historic. And this guy that was next door, I think his name was Santo. He was gay, he lived there with his partner. Upstairs was the apartment, downstairs was the tile shop. When tiles break, he actually gets them repaints them with a new tile or replacement tile matches the colors exactly because of the historical um, importance of the tiles in this place also um september 20th is 1905 day that is the day the restaurant opened and so they roll back the pricing back to 1905 so uh, i couldn't remember everything so i brought notes uh 
from noon to seven, they roll back the pricing to the 1905 pricing. So you can get chicken and yellow rice for $2.95. Uh, Russian style merluza, bolichi would be $2.95. The 1905 sal would be like $1.90. Sangria is 95 cents. American coffee is five cents and flocking is 50 cents. So there is a line around the building when they open. I imagine so. For that because it's like you can be a baller on a budget, right? Absolutely. Um, I also want to say that like the Columbia family or the Gonsmarts now, if you will, it is an incredible company. They give back so much to the community. You know, as a runner, a fat, out of shape runner, but still a runner, um, they do the Richards Run for Life, which is a 5K through Ybor City at night in November. Uh, and that is a fundraiser for one of his family members that had cancer. Uh, if you do the Gasparilla Distance Classic, uh, at the end of the half marathon, they have 20, 30 employees out there cooking paella and yellow rice and chicken. Like, this is a company that constantly gives back, you know? Yeah. Um, they opened up other restaurants. There's one in St. Augustine, there's one in Sarasota. Sarasota's been there for a long time, and that's actually the oldest one in Sarasota, too, now. So, I mean, we've had a lot of stuff to uh, talk about. But, Lots. But I also want to make sure that, like, so there was a guy. And uh, number one, okay, so did you know that you're eating one of the America's top 10 best salads? I, I believe that after tasting it, absolutely. So the restaurant was 1905, but this didn't come along until 1940. One of the waiters here was named Tori no Tony Noriega, mm. and he invented this salad. Um, Thank you, Tony. So the Columbia adopted it, and then they basically... Um, they phased out the black olives and the celery and changed the dressing. Mm -hmm. And then they did a new dressing with Worcestershire sauce and cheese and stuff like that. And they used Lee and Parents, specifically Worcestershire Lee sauce. Lee and Parents. Lee and Parents. Real. And the president of Lee and Parents found out that the Columbia restaurant was the number one purchaser of his product in the world. He came down here and he's like, let me check this out. Yeah. So like he came all the way down here just to have a 1905 salad. That's kind of cool. It probably was not a wasted trip, I will tell you. It's, um, it's good. This salad is amazing. This is my first time having it. I know that's terrible. I'm a Tampa. I know, I'm a, I'm a Tampanian. Tampanian. And this is my first time. My wife don't like the place. I don't know what to tell I've, I've asked her to come here a million times. So if you're watching this, Franny, we finally picked a place that you don't like. So this salad is awesome. Here's what I'll tell you about it. It has some sourness to it. It has some saltiness to it. Uh, it Sounds has, like me. <laughs> absolutely. It has uh, some good texture to it, and then you get the cheese and all that stuff in it. This this is probably one of the best salads I've ever had. It's big. It's humongous. Yours has olives. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. All right, you talk. They are really so good. Ah. One of the things, Richard's had this salad a bunch of times, so he knew ahead of time. This salad is drenched with that salad dressing. It has a ton of that salad dressing on it. And the flavor pops, but he, Richard, you ordered it dry. In, in other words, not not soaking wet with the half the dressing. dressing, half the dressing. And turkey. Mine's Mine full on. Mine's full on with the dressing. There's tons of dressing. It hits every single piece of this thing. You can tell they know what the hell they're doing when it comes to the salad. You want to talk a little bit about the bread that it came with? You mean how you butcher your bread? <laughs> so um, it's a Cuban bread and. I put the butter on the outside of it, and Richard almost had a heart attack. I Look, opened I'm my bread, starving, put the butter okay? on the inside, and then close like it. Like everyone would, yes. Everyone would usually I allow do. the heat to do the work for me so that the butter is melted on the inside. Some of um, us couldn't wait. So it's a nice, squishy, gooey exterior with a rough, hard outer exterior. Also kind of like me. I, <laughs> I needed a protein bar just to make it here. A cliff bar just to make it here and a Gatorade. Just to make it to you guys this morning. It's been such a long haul for me. Was it? Um, I also want to point out, um, like I said, in 1956, when they added the Saboni room, which is the third room down, um, if you want to watch the show, you can expect an $8 entertainment surcharge on your bill. Uh, they only have shows at 9 o'clock, so your reservation. There's an earlier show, then the later show is at 9 o'clock. So if you want to see the flamenco dancers, um, you can do that, but know that you're going to have to have a reservation at a certain time. And also, um, they have a Christmas show 
So it, it's, um, awesome. they, it's you haven't lived until you've seen flamenco dancers stomping on the floor and clapping to Mannheim Steamroller's Carol of the Bells. <laughs> but in their traditional uniforms, outfits, costumes. costumes. It's artistic. Costumes. Love it. So yeah, come check it out. They have a holiday show. Uh, it, it's pretty cool. And uh, every time I hear, I've never been disappointed. You know, it's pretty no. good. Got a couple Me neither. Couple every time here. I've been here, it's been awesome. This one time. This one time. <laughs> I got no complaints. This is amazing. For a salad. I, I was always wondering, who the hell goes somewhere for a salad? You know what I mean? You ever been to Sweet Tomatoes? I lo- you had to bring rest, that up? You had to bring peace. up Sweet, sweet Tomatoes. Well, you just said who goes somewhere for a salad. I might cut this off. It's my allergies. Yeah, right. Um, what if you cut it off with meat? I, can, I don't have to be a demure porcelain flower. I can eat like a savage, so... Um, How's life? I mean, we don't want to just come in and just do a, a quick review and good. go without saying hi. Life's good. I'm not complaining. Making sure everything is good with you. These How's people up? in the background have no clue what they're in for. Yeah, we're just talking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they don't even do. Water. What else can I get for you right now? Tastes delicious. Oh, it's great. Thank you, you so much. Red? Oh, yes, please. Okay. For you, too. And I'm good. Thank you. This, t- this time when I get the bread, I'll butter it the right way. <laughs> You, you almost had a heart attack. I, I think I think you said something about we're not friends anymore or something. But I, I explained to you, I'm I'm hungry. That's all it was. It was I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. It was just the right way to do things. Half measures availed us nothing. Yeah, when you said we were coming here, I got crazy and started like checking out all the history because I love knowing how it works. Um I have been here on more than one occasion and had, a, this was many years ago, but I had to have a, this sangria is good, y'all, from, <laughs> a, from what I recall. It's good. You remember it and, in the um, beginning of the night? I remember we got the bill and the boyfriend was like, did we really have eight pitchers of sangria? I'm like, yep. It goes down smooth. He had one, you had seven. No, I think we were pretty much 50-50. It's been oh, well over three years. So, three years? Yeah, next week, three years. So, when you are in Tampa, oh wait, what's he saying? He's saying, get the Salteado Snapper a la Rusa. Ooh. Yeah. Thanks, Ross. I'm I'm good on the fish. (laughs) Maybe we can do a fish some other time? No, a la Rusa has the little, the capers and the peas and the little chopped. No. No. Not going to do it? Uh Uh-uh. Not at this year's juncture? Well, everyone. None of this turning point. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching. It's, it's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure hanging out with you. Thanks for I, we don't I, even... I, I had nothing on the calendar today. You called me up and I said, I'm a dog. It's Friday. So, it's Friday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Friday. Love you. Gotta get down on Friday. Hey, Richard, do you have anything else you want to say before we go? Um, I'm about to go savage on this salad, but in the meantime, before I let you go, have a wonderful day. And remember, don't be an asshole. Bye.